Hello, YouTube. This is the MFN SRA Avis Cup Series Race or, uh, 13 of 15. The uh, Carfax 400 live from Michigan International Speedway in Brooklyn, Michigan. On the pole today we have Luke Martin, and on the outside we have Barney Ward. So let's get the cars a rolling. Yep, so we're gonna have us a 30 lap shootout today. Okay. Luke Martin has been very strong this season. He's sitting in the top 10 in points, but that oh so elusive win has eluded him. Okay. This was originally supposed to be slated for a short track, but I decided that Phoenix was gonna be our short track for the season. As the green flag is out, and we are underway. Anyway, I decided Phoenix is going to be our short track of the season, because I don't really like short tracks in this series, because, like, the cars aren't going fast enough to wreck and then get put out of the race. So then they'll just, like, keep wrecking. Check out third place. There's Stefan pa Oops, that's not Stefan. There's Stefan Papiaz back with Best Buy again. They've been impressed with his runs. And, uh, he's definitely not disappointing today. This is his home track, by the way. He's looking good early. Papiaz leads lap one. Papiaz has won before. He won at Pocono in season number one. Wow, look at all the cars in the back. Wow, oh, I don't want to be in this pack. Oh, there they go! Nick Knott's around! Randy Carpenter! And a few others. I gotta get all the way back up to the front. No change out front as Pappy has leads some more. Let's get a look at what happened. Alright, the best angle we could find was the helicopter view. If you look over here, Jack Richards is gonna get into Jeremy Tacos and send him right into Nick Knotts. And then Randy Carpenter gets spun by Carter Kozlowski as they try to avoid. And Galligan gets a little piece. Alex Petty's going to get a little piece. Ooh, that's a hard hit from Danny Wells. Danny Wells running the Carhartt scheme for the second and final time this season. And uh, it's not really worked out for him. But what you going to do? Let's get back to the green. Well, here we go. We got Stefan Papiez, Kurt Gibson, Luke Martin, Greg Brown, Andrew Parker... Mark Edwards, CJ Sorensen, who's been on a roll lately, Barney Ward, John Stewart, and Elijah Koufax will round out the top ten. Now, unfortunately for Papias, he's pretty far down there in the points and it looks like a championship's out of his way. But he sure would like to go out with a bang. Michigan was a good race in season one. Ralph Velho went on to take the win. Good racing, obviously we'll get this track another race. As the green flag is back out, Stefan Papias will bring him to the green. This is a home race for a lot of guys. This is a home race for Papias. Jeremy Tacos, who's in 32nd, that's not very good. Uh, who else is it? It's a home race for Jamie Smith. He's running a special Reese's car today to commemorate that. Well, it's Elvis, but it's different. It's also Luke Martin's home race. And it probably is some other people's home races, but I don't know where you live, so I mean, yeah. As Kurt Gibson takes the lead, we missed that. He led at the line. That's, he's another guy who somewhat been struggling this year and the win would definitely help. Andrew Parker's been on a little bit of a roll himself lately. Finished uh, second at Charlotte. He's running third here right now. I can't remember where he's in Mexico City, but... Yeah. 
Whoa, he's gonna go drop down and make it three wide for the lead. And there's Mark Edwards. Hey, Andrew Parker didn't have the run. Who has it? I think Papias does. There he is. Happy as this season has been a lot of the wrong place, wrong time. I remember at Texas when Luke Martin slipped to the grass, came right up into him, sandwiched him into the wall, ended his day. I remember that he's been in a few other wrecks that just haven't been his doing. And today he's trying to redeem himself with a win. And it's home track nonetheless. I said Luke Martin was in the top ten in points. Who else is in the top ten in points? That I know of. Off the top of CJ Sorensen is. He's running tenth, but he's going under Barney Ward. Whoa. I think we might have five wide. Tyler Speed just in front. They're four wide, though. Wow. Oh, Barney Ward got loose. CJ Powers on the outside. Two seventeen. They don't even get below one ninety. That's amazing. Let's see who else we got. Bob Fergus is in the top ten of points. He's running around. Uh, 17th or so. Bob Marshall's in the top 10 of points. Hmm. Jamie Smith is in the top 10 of points. He lost his giant point lead after a few bad weeks. Matt Edwards is in the top 10 of points. I think this side cop is. Um. But yeah. Oh, news out of the 14 camp. Waste management has been very happy with how Levi Jones has been running, so they don't want a half sponsor anymore. They want a full sponsorship deal on that car, so... Yeah. As uh, Mark Edwards moves into second, it's a top four breakaway. And here comes Mark Edwards for the lead. Michigan is known for its green flag racing. Definitely not next week, though. Next week, we're going to Zen Joltis. And if, you, if you're not familiar with what that track is, after you watch the race next week, you're going to know about it for the rest of your life. Five, six, seven wide racing, wide open. It's as good as it gets. And then we'll end the season at Talladega. Some people suggested that I do it in reverse. But I think Talladega has an intimidating factor. That is just too good to pass up as the last race of the season. So this is the last non-super speedway. So... The guys on the top 10 of points better have a good run today, just in case something happens. Next week. Clive Burr up into 7th, haven't talked about him yet today. Tyler Speed into 8th, good for him. Gearhead in 9th. Jacob Waller, finally having a nice run, he's down there in the cellar. It's him, John Dillon, Nick Knotts, Alex Petty, and Papias, but Papias has been doing a little bit better lately. But it's them 5 guys down there. They all would love to break out. Alex Petty was in that first wreck. I don't know where he's at. Eh, he's not off the pace. Wow, CJ's really falling back. Was he not just like in the top 10? He's being scored right now in 18th, 20th. Jeez, 20th. Was that Pat? No, that was Bob Marsh. Yeah, that was Bob Marsh. Still Pappy is out front. He's got himself a good car. 
Luke Martin gonna try again for second. He's testing you, let's go to you. Uh-oh, I hear lap car. That's what it's been this season. It's been Rex or lap traffic playing a factor. I'll tell you. The field is kind of spread out. Happy as can't seem to get away, though. It's that draft, I'll tell you. Mark Edwards doesn't even really have to go full throttle down the back stretch, and he can still keep up. So when it comes time to the end of the race, I think there will be a slingshot. Where's Nick Knox? Alright, he's just into turn one by the life lock sign. And those guys, whoa, they got so bad. Hmm. So he's right on the center of the screen now. As these guys are getting to the center of the screen right now. Hmm. Yeah, and these guys are running single file. Whoa, never mind. Where did all these guys come from? Look at Tyler's speed with... He was up in the top 10 on the restart. He's being shown in 10th, but I think he's going to be higher than that. Sixth. Four spots in one lap. And let me tell you, uh, Andrew Parker is really starting to fall back. As I think the lap car is here. And Mark Edwards is going to try to make a pass. He might be able to use Nick Knotts as a pick. Oh, but look how much momentum he lost. go lap traffic let's see what happens Papias goes under him successfully uh oh but Mark Edwards is gonna get slowed up as is Luke Martin uh oh something's gotta give here something's gotta give okay Nick Knotts goes to the outside oh but that's gonna block Luke Martin in Oh no, Luke Martin had such a good run going and it's all going down the drain because his own teammates holding him up. Oh! Oh, retaliation! Oh, Luke Martin put him in the wall! Wow! That's actually not very out of characteristic. Uh oh, now he's holding up his other teammate. Martin just broke what he was doing to go put his own teammate into the wall. Wow. It's still happy as out front though, but Kurt Gibson's caught him now. Haven't really well, Kurt Gibson's been up there, but he hasn't really been battling for the lead. I think he was at one point. Yeah, definitely the most la and I think we have a caution! Yeah we do! Jamie Smith, Sean Henley, and there's Nick Knotts. He must have had something to do with it. Your caution's definitely out. Let's see what happened. Alright, so Nick Knotts comes down a little bit here on Jamie Smith. And Jamie Smith is trying not to spin him, but he comes down on the Garrett Jones, who gets into Henley. And then, ooh, that's a hard hit. Ooh, and for Henley. All these guys. Garrett Jones looks like, well... Nah, I don't think he necessarily got the worst of it, but uh, he's going to be the farthest back. So, Nick Knotts, not very good driving. Let's get back to the restart. Alright, we're going to have a few laps to go. We got Stefan Papias, Kurt Gibson, Greg Brown, John Stewart up into fourth, Mark Edwards, Andrew Parker back up there to sixth, Clive Burr, Tyler Speed, Elijah Koufax, and Bob Marshall. Now, we got to see, where is Luke Martin going to start? Because he's going to be unhappy. Fourteenth, okay, that's not so bad. I think he should have enough time to finish in the top 10. Here we go, we're gonna have four laps to go. Green flag is back out, not a very good restart for Kirk Gibson. John Stewart gonna capitalize and look under Greg Brown. Meanwhile, Papia is starting to scoot away. Greg Brown storming on the outside. Rewipe 
fourth. Yeah, four wide for fourth. Clive Burr all the way down to the bottom. But Andrew Parker looks like he might actually get the best of it. Oh, maybe not. He slid up. Uh-oh, Greg Brown, be careful. Oh, they're getting... They're getting feisty. That actually gave the advantage to Jon Stewart. No, wait, he wasn't in that bag. It's silly me. I gave the advantage to Mark Edwards. The intensity is really starting to pick up. We got two to go. And the caution's out! The caution is out! That's it! Papiez wins! Papiez wins! At Michigan! After the season he had, a win definitely, definitely will boost his morale. Let's see what happened. Ladies and gentlemen, this one was a big one. Jeremy Taco has managed to get himself into the top 15. Turns gearhead into the outside wall. Luke Martin, nowhere to go. Josiah Cop involved. Then he comes down, and here's where it all begins. Look at all these guys pile in. There's so many people. If you just see yourself, then... Oh! Gearhead got slammed by Jamie Smith. Wow, Nick Knotts made it through. Ouch. Turned into a junkyard. Levi Shones is down there. Look at all these guys. Basically, from 22nd on back, everyone involved in that wreck. Wow. Let's get to the finish line. Well, here you go, Papiez. Your first win in more than a year. Stefan Papiez, under caution, will come and he will take the win at Michigan. He definitely had the best car. One of the few stories this year where the best car actually wins the race. Kurt Gibson definitely had the second best car. He'll take second. John Stewart from nowhere will take third. Mark Edwards will take fourth. Elijah Koufax, after running tenth all day, will take fifth. Andrew Parker was around sixth place, so that's a good finish for him. Five Burr was around seventh. Greg Brown could have finished a little better. Tyler Speed, ninth. And CJ Sorensen will get tenth. Let's get your the rest of your results. Well, there you go. Take a look at uh, where you finish. Jeremy Tacos will end up 15th after running 32nd at one point. That's pretty good. Jacob Lawler will get a 14th. He need he needed that. Danny Wells, tough luck for him. Hasn't really been his season. Two Roush cars, 42nd, 41st. Not a good day at all for Roush. One, two, three, four. The best finishing Roush car, 27th. But, uh, yeah. So, tough luck for some of these guys. So, uh,. Congrats to Stefan Papiez on winning the last somewhat sane race of the season. As next week we'll be on to Zen Joltis. So, thanks so much for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. And, uh, see you at the Big Z.